Good morning, everybody. Um, I wanted to do a quick retake um, of reapplying um, signs on a building um, after doing my last video on the Tim's feed and supply. I realized that my camera was zoomed in too far, which didn't really allow to see what I was doing. So, um, today I want to show you where, what I did last time and then just kind of show you wh what I, re-show you what I did, um, on the front wall here today, um, as a quick, uh, short how-to, um, and then you can apply it to all signs, really. Um, what I did is, is I learned um, how to apply signs by watching um, Craig Cassidy's uh, YouTube channel. He has videos on there on lots of things. Um, and one of them is how to apply signs um, on various walls, brick, wood, painted, metal, whatever. He gives you the how-tos to do that. So today, today I'm going to go back through and I'm going to apply these just... Just three, these three signs, um, and kind of re-show you the process that it, it, it is. Um, and for that, we have a mixture of 50% water, 50% glue, and then I just added a couple of drops of uh, Dawn dish soap so it kind of the dish soap um kind of helps keep the watermarks down on your signs um and um i use sandpaper 150 grit um to do what i, I do um and so where i left our last last time was right here um, this is how the walls turned out, um, and I love how it just adhered to the wall. I'm going to bring it in close so you guys can see it up close. There you go. See how... It just lays right up into the actual um, clapboard. Turned out pretty, pretty nice. And yeah, some of these signs are a little more, a little more than what uh, is needed. But it's weathered. This building is going to have a little bit more weathering to it when I'm done. And it's just going to show a little bit of an uh, wear to it. Um, so how did I get it, it from this to that? Well, um, to save a little bit of time, I went ahead and did the sanding portion on all the signs. Um, but I will recap how I did that with the sandpaper. So when you print them out... What you do is you just turn them over and you just take some sandpaper and you sand it down. Just take the back of it and just sand it down like this. And then what you want is a, you want to be able to see through the light to shine through it where you can see the front of the sign is what you want. Um, and that's what I did. So just take your time, um, and sand it down. Um, and then, um, hold, if you want to check it, just hold it up to a light. Look from the back side on this side up to a light. Um, and you want to be able to see through, but not have it go all the way through. 
um, and everybody's different they go, they liked a certain way better than another so um, that's personal um, preference but that's how you get it sanded I tend to cut mine out and sand them but uh, you can do it on a, the sheet that you're cutting it from you can go from the back side a lot, a lot of times I get a lot of signs and so I, I want to cut them out um, so I mean I took them from sheets like this and just cut cut them out and then I sand them that way I don't have to worry about ruining other ones that I don't really want to get to right away so so with that we're gonna apply these three signs um, with our glue mixture and this brush so let me zoom out a little bit <clears throat> okay so we got a brush, our glue mixture, our adhesive mixture, and our three signs. Um, what the brush is, is it will allow us to do a dabbing motion. And I even have a sponge one, one of, uh, one of these, which is I, what I use mostly. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a, a little bit of uh, the solution here. I only need a drop on these signs, really. We're not looking to have a whole lot. Um, just spread it, just kind of spread it out. No, well, maybe two drops. One or two drops is plenty. Um, and just lightly and easily spread the glue without ripping your it and then take I take my tweezers and I find where I want to put it And depending on how you're wanting to lay it, it doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Take my sponge and I'm just And I'm wanting to lay this one in an angle because this one, just to kind of give it a little bit of a texture feed to it. And what the br this brush will do is I will just start from the bottom and not that, not that brush. This brush. And I'm just gonna dab, start just dabbing and I'm kind of just pushing it into the crevices of the clapboard. Just like that. I'm just going through and I'm just applying the pressure. Not a lot, just enough to kind of push up into the clapboard. And what this will do is it will kind of mold to the actual clapboard itself and and everything else um and i like the faded signs you know this is an older supply feed store um and then i might be adding some new i'll add some to get it littered with them i'll add some like newer ones maybe one or two um 
just to kind of give it like a new poster look like these are older ones and then I'll have some newer ones you know you can vary it um, these these ones are all been here a while it's been here so now we, I'll go through after this and do the same thing but I'll add I won't make them weathered as much I'll make them look more of newer so it's not aged but the buildings there a long time so so yeah you want to make sure you get that all all good like that um, and then you just go and do the next one just take a little bit of a drop of like that just make sure that it gets all nice and and like that and then you just take Again, after you take the, the glue and moisture, you just take it, your tweezers and bring it up and you just lay it right into place where you want it. Kind of like that. And I, what I do is, and again, is I take this and I just stamp it just up, just to get it in there on there and then I take my brush and again I'm just not forcefully I'm just pressuring working from the bottom up and firmly but lightly applying it to the board so it you know molds it to it and after the first two, um, that's what they look like. See how you can you're getting the the molded texture to that. I I deliberately did this one like that because it's a bigger sign. When the wind's gonna grab it, it's gonna tear it. It's gonna make it and stuff like that. But you can tell it it says Wayne's feed um, and stuff like that. So, and then this one I just applied gently and it has a little tear on the bottom, you know, um, that kind of thing. Um, and so now we're going to, um, we're going to jump back over to the last sign. Get it applied. And I'm just brushing it lightly because you already have it thin. You don't need to um, put pressure to this portion of it at all. You just need to make sure that it's getting wet. Get your tweezers under it, pick it up. Uh, I happen to pick it upside down, so we'll just turn this around. And I want to lay it right up here somewhere. And again, just dab it. Use the stand, I use the flat part, and I, uh, Again, now that I have it in place, let's turn this around. Again, I take this and I just blot it down onto the surface so it stays. And then I take my other brush and I just go from the bo bottom up and I just apply the pressure so that it molds to the clapboard siding. And 
and that's that. Um, that looks pretty good. Um, so that's how I do my signs. Um, they came out pretty well. Um, I think, um, I'll, I'll do that again here. So you guys on this one, I'll just go ahead and do this one real quick. Being it's not taking very long to do them. And then you guys can just see, you know, um, the whole thing that I do. Uh, and it's just a, a rinse and repeat process. You don't have to worry about them being perfect. Not at all. Because if you look at buildings, signs don't always stay straight. They're never straight all the time. You can start them, you can put them on straight, but they don't stay straight. So over time, it just it just does what it does, you know, as it ages. Um, and that kind of thing. So, now for these smaller round ones, they can be tend to be a pain. So, I'll just take this extra glue that I have down here on the fill off and I will just use that because that's perfect amount and then we'll apply it Sometimes I can get this in there enough to, to do the work that I want it to, to be done. And what these do is they help prevent your brush or your extra from actually wearing on the sign itself. Which is why it's imperative that you, if you're not trying to get wear on it or too much wear, that you just use that. So now we have the Coca-Cola and McCurdy's done. Um, now we're going to jump over and do these other two. And then we'll be done for today. Just wanted to, like I said, just wanted to come back on here and make an adjustment because um, I realized um, that the video I did yesterday, or the day before, uh, or let's just say the last video I did, just didn't um, come out the way it should have. Um, and I didn't catch that. So I'm doing a retake of this. And yes, the curse of the paper. And again, I'm just taking my brush and just working my way from the bottom upward 
pushing it into the crevices of the wall so that it picks up the form of that. And then we're done with this. We'll put this away over here. Um, push this glue on there. And I'm going to apply it like, like so. And don't always line them up. You want contrast, um, you know, off them slightly, turn the words, letter, you know, different. So, you know, what, so it catches your eye, um, that kind of thing. Um, that's what I've learned. Um, so there you have it. I have all the older signs applied to this 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 uh, supply. I will probably be adding maybe one or two newer signs just to show, you know, and and and, and that all you have to do it's the same process. Uh, you just don't really sand the back down as much, and you can just apply them on the wall over an, one another older sign, or you can put it up in another spot however you want to do it, but you just apply it um, and show it as a newer sign. But that's what I wanted to do. Um, I wanted to show you guys how it came out. So there it is. You can see the textures through the wall. how it, it's kind of molded somewhat to the wall. Um, and that's what I wanted to show you, um, the technique. Uh, again, just take your time. Go, um, and, you know, because if you rush, you're going to tear, tear your sign, and then you'll really be upset because then you, ha you don't have another one um, to... Uh, and that's the other thing is, is I learned is that if you have a, a copier or a scanner at home, um, you might just take the signs that you have and if, and photocopy them, and then you have multiple copies, um, to get it all done. So, uh, in case you make a mistake or you might want to add that sign to another building, um, maybe you have a couple of different buildings in your, in your, um, town that sell the same thing. So you want one on one building and one more on another or whatever. Uh, well, now you have them. So make copies of your um, originals before you do anything. Then you have um, the original as be your, your uh, original final copy. Um, well, I hope that makes things a little better. I apologize again for yesterday or the other video. Um... I did not get things very uh, well done in that video, and I apologize. Um, so, um, this is what I do for my signs now. Um, you don't uh, do this for every sign, of course. Um, this is just the older signs that have been there a while. They're kind of weathered and molded to the building. And this is the, the technique that I am still improving on, but have learned to apply to my signs and there's a lot of different ways out there if you're interested in this technique um or a lot of wide variety of techniques um jump on youtube and um check it out you know just you know there's so many sources out there that teach you so many things on youtube it it, it just you know it it's in endless in my opinion um and just just read up on it and do it um but this is how i do it i hope this again i hope this has helped it. um and uh i'm sorry for <laughs> the other video uh i do have a newer work mac coming today or tomorrow 
Um, it's a solid mat. It's not gridded. I don't ever use the grid on this mat for anything. I don't. Um, I don't at all. Um, so um, this is just a cutting mat and it, my work workstation. So I have a newer mat that is just a solid color. Um, and um, being I do my, use use my phone, it, my phone does not like to focus sometimes. So it'll be great to have that solid color um, as a couple of people have suggested so we're gonna be be doing that and for you who have suggested that thank you very much um, you know who you are um, and um, I'm hoping that that will help um, maintain video focus better um, and we'll we'll see you next time you guys take care mm -hmm.